So I just released a new update for you and at this we now have an in-game menu. So as you can see on the top right here we have a new button and if you click it it will open a system menu and there you have three options to enable or disable the sound effects, music and ambient sounds. Now these settings will also be remembered by your system. So if you set it in one game and you play another one then those settings will be remembered. So that is basically it for this release, but I have something else to show you and that will be for the next release and that is that in this dialogue also the inventory items will be added. So here is a sneak preview for one of the next updates. I will add a new inventory tab and when you click on it, then you will actually see the inventory items that the hero will have. Now this screen is still under construction, so it's not final yet, but then you know more or less what to expect. Now I also want to take the opportunity to give a shout out to all the YouTubers that are making RPG Playground videos. So first up, we have Frozen Goat here. On the platform, he's just known as Goat, and he's making a YouTube series about how to make your own RPG. Next up we have Bren NZ, he's also making some very cool videos. And then we have Fedora Kid, he's making a lot of tutorial videos and his final video here is a trailer for his own game. And then last but not least we have Macmore Retro Gaming, he's both on YouTube but also on Twitch. And first of all he's making tutorial videos but secondly he's also playing and reviewing games on our platform. He already reviewed a few of them, but of course if you want him to review your game then definitely let him know. So on RPG Playground itself, Macmore created a new group called Macmore Retro Gaming and here in one forum topic he requested to feature your game on stream. I will post the link in the description below so if you want your game featured just click on the link and it will take you to this page. Another thing that I wanted to show you is in the group Macro Dimension, Lem has shared some screens that he created and it's actually like a main menu, but he fully made it with tiles and with a tile map underneath. So as you can see here, it's for a game Ring Theory and here below you have the main menu where you can select the items. But he also has some other examples, so these are screenshots of his game. But here too, same thing on how to create cool letters with just using tiles. And I think he has another example here. So here you can see he was able to make some numbers with those tiles. And then here a false text. And then finally on our Discord, ABC shared a cool trick on how to create a game end screen. So first he creates a pickup and then customizes the screenplay. Now this end screen is premium only, so make sure you order premium and order it now because it's still really cheap, it has a huge discount because it's early access, so order it now and then you get all features. So the first action is to display your end screen with the text you want, you can customize everything you want in this screen of course. And then next up he makes the pickup active again and this makes sure that when the player tries to close the dialogue it is reopened again. So if I play further in this video you will see that the player picks it up, he gets an end screen and when you click it then it stays open. That's it for this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And of course stay tuned because one of the next updates will be inventory items. And I know almost everybody has been waiting for that. Have fun creating your own RPGs and see you next time.